Shalom Yasharala, Kalhala Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Kakadash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Camp, but in great minister, will be 100 percent true that have been currently edified under. And today's lesson is really um to bring some light and to give some again some encouragement to the new Achaeans or the new um Israelites, or I say the ones that were called recently. Um, by the name of Tyson, and I believe son of Lion or something of the Lion, which is dealing with Judah, I believe. Um, so I just want to give you all a simple, you know, understanding as how to really, as to when going through the scriptures, how they really start off, because at the end of the day, Yahweh had created a foundation for us to follow an order, right? So, firstly, when they get caught into the truth, you'll be curious. I was, I, I mean, I wasn't curious. I really wanted to know. Um, my saying is, I don't, I want to know to the point where I don't want to know, I don't want to be deceived anymore. I want to know so I could serve the Father. That was my saying. That's what I, was what I said from the beginning. And let's go into the lesson. Um, from the beginning, when you get the understanding, when you go to Ephesians chapter Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 9 it says, right? Now that he ascended, what it what is it but that he also descended first into the lowest part of the earth, right? Which we know is dealing with Mashiach, Yahusha. He that descended is this is the same also that ascended up for above all heavens far above all heavens so like, yeah, that he might fill all things and when you go into 11 it says and he gave some apostles some prophets some evangelists some pastors some teachers and it says for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Right? So when you are calling to the truth, as you are new, what I'm going to tell you is to seek guidance from the elders. I know you maybe you have that zeal, but direct that zeal to get some understanding. And I'm glad both of you um came to to me one was true matazabat's um video which I, I shared a link to with for, but they came to me and i referred them to him and the other which is tyson um saw my video on tiktok and wanted to know he really and truly would love to know so i as well I direct them to the L to my to my elders, what I believe is my what I see as my elders, which is Matazabats and Abanaya, right? And send him the links when you start to watch the videos. Now they are very um they are zealous for the father and they are willing to seek knowledge because I say in this there's one of them who I believe have um dreads and he watched the video to gain understanding about it and now he is going to remove it that's where I'm coming from so that alone shows you that the kind of zeal that he have for the father he is willing to hearken onto the voice of the, of Yahweh right so that's a very good thing so let me continue it says till we all come to unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of God, of the Most High, right? It says, unto a perfect, which is Yahusha Mashiach, and it says, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach. Going on, it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine. So this is the reason why we need these elders I was mentioned, because guess what? 
They have travailed to interpret the scriptures. They have studied. They have went through years. Some going on 20 plus years. Look at the elders here now. Many of them have gray hair, which is wisdom. But they are old. They are, they are of age, to be exact. So like, yeah, they are of age, which shows that they have been in the truth for a very long time. So when they give you guidance, right? This is dealing with um, the... the um, the two new um, ones who are called, when they give you guidance, guess what? They are giving you proper guidance. Yahweh had ordained them to do that. That's their job. That's their lot. That's where they stand on. So the fact that you come into a group like this, it, it, it is mind blowing because I start off um, getting the truth and coming in from um, IYC. And I, I see begin to bug out when I came into the truth. <laughs> so I kind of stray away from them. I say, boy, let me look first. Look, I, I don't know who else is top there out there, but I agree and I really want to know. And um, if Yahweh hadn't had mercy on me and, 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 and direct me to these brothers, I would have been in error. I would have probably been spiritually dead. It is what it is. And the scriptures say many are called but few are chosen. Now, I, I ain't saying I'm chosen, but I'm called. And guess what? I want to remain, I, I want to be one of, a part of the elect, hopefully. So I would do what I need to do. Do my due diligence. You know, some rehearsal I just ask to make sure that I can and, and have that faith for the Father, have that fear for the Father, have that faith in your heart, Hashem, your heart Continue to ask him to grow my faith. So let's continue. A little, a little side story of myself it is what it is and it says um, let me go back that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried above with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in way to deceive because normally when you come into the truth your air is fresh you understand coming from your air is new you're willing to seek, to learn, to grasp anything that sounds like the truth. This is why I, I, I'm giving you this understanding here now. Because right now we have many of you that are studying, uh, which is very good. Now, when you're studying, remember the... the um, let me see if I find. Let me get the books for you. As you're going into it, right? Stay away from these three books. The book of Enoch. Book of Jubilees and Jasha, right? The, those are, those are, those are, um, <coughs> sorry, pseudopagrapha. <coughs> and, so like it. And I think, I'm gonna go on TikTok. I did send, I did send him one. I did send him one. The information dealing with, Dealing with if I have it here, if I have it here, I have it here. But I did send him um what is um them this man sent me a bunch of videos here but no not this one wrong one um let me find it right I did send him this right it says Enoch walked with the Most High, right? Then, uh, well, this, as you know, the book of Enoch is a what? Pseudo pygraphal work. It's a, it's a, it's a add-on book, right? It says the book of Enoch was not included in e in the in either the Hebrew or most Christians' books canons, right? But could have been considered a sacred text. By the sector, sectorians, sectarians, sectarians. Again, excuse my pronunciation. So, with that understanding, it was an add-on book, and the reason why they would add it on because there's many priests, there's many scriptures that doesn't line with the Bible. So, I would not advise you all to really go into these three books you have below here. These are add-on books, right? So, as you continue going back into the lesson. 
just to give some uh, some edification, some understanding, so that you wouldn't fall short. You understand what I'm coming by coming being called to the shoot? It's for I can't force you, but it's for you all to take take heed. Um. So we go. We continue on. It says, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in him in all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach. Right at sixteen. From whom the whole body fitly joined together, that compacted by that which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measures of every part, make it increase of the body unto, unto the edifying of itself in love. Right? Which, with understanding, when they go into First Timothy, Chapter five, um, dealing with the um the elders again. This is why when we with the understanding we give, we give double honors to the elders because, as we understand, they have true. They have been going through this. They, they have been, they have been doing majority of the works to make it easier for us. You understand where I'm coming from? So if we are called and we receive the knowledge that is expected to receive to gain edification, so that we can be what more, more grounded in this truth. Then guess what? We are indeed part of, might maybe, hopefully, part of the elect. So, first Timothy chapter five verse seventeen: Let the elders that rule well. I hear it say, "Let the elders who, elders who do their works well, what's their works? Teaching, preaching. Going back into um." Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9 to verse 9 and 10. So as you continue, let the elders rule well, that rule well, be counted worthy of double honors, especially they who labor into the word and doctrine, making sure that they receive the correct doctrine so that when they bring forth to us, that we would not be in error or fall short. A deduction of that is given would be at the one true that's what the script that's what um JMS would say they have the hundred percent um truth. Why you feel that is they follow exactly what the Bible says, exactly according to what the Bible is. You understand what I'm saying? So with that understanding, from there now, from the guidance, you will get you'll go into study mode. Because studying is very, very important. Very, very, very important. <clears throat> When they go into 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15, why is it so important? Study to show thyself approved, right? Unto the Most High, a work man that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, right? So, the study. You go into, go into the scriptures, you go into the, the precepts. You understand? They go into the lessons. Um, the elder GMS members and um, elders and, and so on do post lesson daily. And then we have Matasa Bats and Abaniah who literally post lesson daily. And if not post, they do lives, which which covers a broad and a broad understanding of things. And you can ask questions, right? Don't be afraid. Come into the lives. That, that's why it's be sharing the lives for you. Come into the lives. And you could ask questions just in case. Something that you may have, have been stumbling on, you ask questions and they would go through the scriptures to provide an answer for you. Right? So as you continue, which um will this go into Peter chapter second Peter chapter one and I believe ten. It says, Wherefore the rather, wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For it, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. You understand? Plain as day. And one of the ways you could really go into this is because um, when you go into, I may have probably did this before, but Ecclesiasticus one and one. Right, as it says, the the prologue of wisdom going down. I want to jump into a, a nice little part dealing with 
Let's see. Let me find it. Right. As you go for it, it says, I want to read from... Let's see if I can pick this up. I can't pick it up. Okay. I want to read from... Um, it says, when, when he had much given himself... Yeah, to the reading of the law and the prophets and the books of our fathers, right? And had gotten therein good judgment. And it says, was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to, the, to learning and wisdom. To the intent that those which are desirous to learn, like, like the, um, the Akiyam, like those two, they are travailing to be as we speak. It's like, yeah, how I put that spirit in them to learn now? Because right now, when you watch the, the, the signs, like, come on. Everybody should see what's going to be taking place next. We are, these signs show that we are nearing the end times. Nearing. So the fact that they are called in a time like this shows you that his word is not error. You understand? His word is not error. So let me continue. Um, I'm going to go for it. All right. Just to learn and addicted to these things might profit much more in living according to the law. It says, Wherefore, let me entreat you to read with, with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come, so come, to come short of some words which we may have, which we have labored to interpret. For the same thing uttered in Hebrews and translated into another tongue, right? It says, have not the same force in them. Meaning have not the same meaning because it's translated and transliterated from the Greek into, from the Hebrew into Greek. Or Hebrew into yeah, Greek, Greek into Latin. The list goes on. When these things are translated coming down, right? The, the meaning do change. So you would have to get the, the root word which we use. Um, the etymology to get the root word, which I will show you the app right here. When I, if I could see it right there. This is the etymology. You can get that app on your phone, right? You could also use the vocabulary because that is also um, gives you a root, the root meaning. I'll show you. Um, how to put it? Hmm. What, what, what to type it? Let me see. Um, I was just typing. I don't even know. <laughs> um, love. Should that. If I could, if, if my fingers could not be as big. Um, no. Well, I mean, love is basic. I want to get out the root. This gives you the root. Um, root. This is an offline um, dictionary that gives you the root word. Normally, right? Etymology, see? Right there. And you see to become or get married. That is the root word. Etymolo etymology. See? So you could use this, but I would I would normally go into this one first, honestly. Which is the etymology. Right? And Mary Webster does work well as well, but not if you want to get the, the proper meaning. Mary Webster is more like synonyms and antonyms and things. Right? Giving the nearest um, to the exact meaning. That is what it normally gives. Right? I also add on another. Um, oh, you can also use this, which is the, the, the Zadok. Zadok, which is an app that teaches you how to um, speak the Paleo Hebrews. But that is not for now. That's for when they learn more. Of course, learning the name of the Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, which I sent you from Matazabat's link. Um, that will give you more edification, right? So. As we go on, to continue, it says, um, say for them, and not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they, when they are spoken in their own language. So you see, and it says, for in the eighth and thirtieth year coming into Egypt when Nothing I read as bad. I'll close it from there. Yeah, I'll close it from there. Get back. Uh, let me read it. I'm gonna reach, my father reach again. Shocks. Um, 
All right, sorry. I'm going to go back. All right. Wait, now we are down. Anyways, well, I mean, if I lost, I lost it. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Right, I get it. Sorry, it says, <laughs> right, for in the eighth and thirtieth year and coming into Egypt when Eurogites Eur Eur was king and coming and continuing, and it says, continuing there sometime I found a book in no small in no small learning. Therefore, I thought it was most necessary for me to bestow some diligence and to travail to interpret it using great watchfulness and skill in the space to bring the book to an end. Let me show recording, right? To bring the book to an end and to set it forth for them also, which in a small, in a strange country are willing to learn. Being prepared before in manners to live after the law. It says, All wisdom cometh from Yahweh and is with him forever. So we have that understanding. So we're supposed to be going to, so don't be, af be afraid, um, of course, given the guidance, don't be afraid to go into certain words. Use the etymology, use the root, de root definition, the root word, the root word meaning to be exact, right? To go into to, to get some understanding, right? Because and, and that's it, studying to show some proof, rightly dividing the word of truth. Roughly paraphrasing, of course. Um when they're going to second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. I'm, I'll, I'll go from 3 and verse 10 and I'll come up a little bit. Right? Like we will come up to 16. It says. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, right? Manner of life. Let me go into the NLT. I like the NLT. I went to the wrong one. Chapter 3. Wait, 3? Right. Going back into it now. Right. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Icon Iconium at Lystra or Lystra, right? What persecutions I endure, but out of them Yahweh the Most High delivered me, right? It says, Yea, and all that will live godly in, in Hamashiach or Yahweh Shai Hamashiach shall suffer persecution. It says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So, it says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So you see that? Make sure that you're, you're getting the correct doctrine, the correct understanding given. Don't go and take it from any and anybody. Because they are lying and their spirits are set up to, 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 to deceive. And if you fall into that, then guess what? We, there's nothing we could do for you but pray and try to guide you out of it. Try to. But it is what it is. It says, and from that Sorry, and that from a child thou hast known the, the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which says, all scriptures. And the reason why I say that is because when you're studying, you are to use, I mean, you're not going to use all scriptures in one, when you're studying, um, let's say, one book. It, it, it wouldn't be because it wouldn't be lined up, but I'm just saying. When you're using the Bible, you don't disregard scriptures. Why? Because all scriptures is given by the inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrines, for reproof, for corrections, for instructions in righteousness. Why is that? That a man of the Most High may be perfect and truly furnished unto all good works. Right? 
And remember, this isn't given to anybody else. The scriptures is not, has not been given to anyone else but the, but the children of Israel. The Yasharala, not Israeli. Not Jewish people, not fakes. The true children of Israel. That were scattered according to prophecy. So let me continue. And with that understanding, right? And just giving you a simple, a simple understanding again. What did he do? He showed his words unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any other nation. And for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise Yahweh. He, has not de he is not dealing, like he is not doing this with any other nation. But the children of Israel, the oracles of God get the children of Israel. Come on. We have to understand that. That have to be established. So you being called clearly, I mean, it, it was kind of evident eh, because, but clearly, <laughs> you are an Israelite. And you being called, I don't know how Yahweh might direct you, but we are here to guide you to the truth. So it would be, it would be wise to take heed. It would be wise to, to, to hear the scripture out. It would be wise to, to, to get, seek the guidance from the elders. And like and get again coming down, like minded brothers. Matazabat, Abaniah, even Yaramiah, they will direct you into the in, in, in into where you would need to be. Over a period of time coming um going through receiving the milk, over a period of time you will be strong and wise enough now to receive the meat. You'll have that understanding, right? So I remember, I remember something. We are his holy people, his peculiar treasure. And, the, and on this side, we, the elect, are his peculiar treasure and his holy people. Let me get up. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto so unto Yahweh thy power, and Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special, a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And then when you even go to Psalms, just to give you a, to, to clear that even further, which you already did in Psalms 147, but I go into Psalms 135 and 4. For Yahweh had chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. Now this would normally be a broad understanding, but coming into, as to, um, how to put it, the ones who are going to, the, the elect or the wanted, which we can get in, I believe is Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. Yeah, I believe so. Right, it says, um, straight to the point, and it shall come to pass that in all the lands said Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be shall lift shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say. Yahweh is thy power. Simple as, as they. Right? So, anyway, I don't understand this too. That, that is why in Romans chapter 9 and 11 says this. Uh, 11 and 7 says, like, it says this. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeked for. It says, but the election had obtained it. What is the election? What we just read. And the rest were blinded. Why would the rest be blinded? Because they have to be cut off. They are going to be cut off. So they are blinded from the truth. And the, the election, which is dealing with the wanted or the elect men, right? They are going to receive it. And the ones that follow after them, which is their families and, and again, others, the, um, women and children, be, to be exact, 
and the, the, the men of Israel that are following, they are received, they, are, they were here to receive. So you being called is a very good thing. Again, many are called but few are chosen. And, and, and just to give a, a, a nice little light onto it too. Remember, this, was, this, is, this has always been according to what the scriptures made, made mention. So when you go into Baruch chapter 2 and 30, I believe. Um, I'll go from 28. And I'll stop at 31. It says, yeah, it says, As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the, in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this is... If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into small numbers among the nations, right? Where I will scatter them, which is going um, with understanding, going into uh, the curse, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64, right? It says, And Yahweh shall scatter thee, shall scatter thee among all nations. Why is that? Because when you go into 28, it says, so 15, 28 and 15, it says, but, if, if it shall, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and statutes, which I command thee this day, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, going into the Baruch chapter 2 and verse um, 29, it has come to pass. We are in another nation. We are in multiple different nations and not in, the, not in the homeland, which is Israel. Understand? Not in our homeland, which is on the, on the east side. We are in the west. The West Indies. I'm, I'm literally located in Trinidad, which is known as the West Indies. And then there are people in America, which is the bulk of the tribes are in. Then there are, of course, there are many are scattered amongst all nations. Because, come on, you could go anywhere in this world and you would see a, 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 a brother. I wouldn't say the word, you know. You would see a brother or a Negro. You would see a Negro. That, is, that shows that we are scattered. Indeed, scattered amongst all nations. Scriptures made it plain and it has came to pass yet again. Alright? So, let's continue on. It says, For I knew... Oh, something smelling. I hope nothing leak out there. Yes. Anyways, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in, the, but in the land of their captivities, Babylon the Great, or let's just say Egypt, spiritual Egypt, Babylon the Great, which we know as America, and all the other nations that we are scattered, scattered in, aside from our own, Right? And they shall remember themselves. And they sh and shall know that I am Yahweh, their power, and I will give them a heart and ears to hear. So the ones who are given the heart and the ears to hear are indeed the elect. And I'm saying the heart and the ears to hear, to receive, and to do, and to, and to um, how to put it, to follow suit. They are indeed the, the elect, because they are waking up. Now many are waking up and still fall back. And I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who wake up and stood fast and, 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 and um, stuck through it regardless of the situation. Those are the men. So as you continue, um, just to give a nice little sight on this, Zechariah chapter, Zechariah, Zef, sorry, Zephaniah chapter, Zechariah, I keep referring to Zephaniah, Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 9. Just to give a nice little something, I say, and I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in, in far countries. So you see, watch that. Going back, like going to, to Baruch chapter 
2 and verse 30. Right. Watch that. They shall remember themselves. In the land of their, captiv their captivity, they shall remember themselves. So, you see what I'm talking about? And that's just where it is. So, for you brothers, I want you to get that in your head. Y'all are called. Indeed called. And one of you are diligently seeking the Father. Much so much. It reminds me of myself. And when I heard that you um willing to change your life and you just want to know you don't know the kind of joy i felt you don't know the kind of joy i, I felt so that that made my whole day imagine that that made my whole day i felt so happy and i'm still happy because he is still travailing as we speak now i, I told him to take his time you know don't burn out you understand coming from you can't burn out but don't burn out so just take your time I know you want to know. I know he want to know. I know he want to learn. That is why I sent him so much links. So that he could... And that, that was um, through the, um, the playlist from Matas Abbas. Um, Tribe of Judah Awaken 144,000. I mean, 144. And that was the fundamentals. And I see for the beginners, right? I sent him the um, link. And I sent him the ones in to, to really get into. Dealing with the name of Yahweh. The name of Yahweh Shai. Um... Let's just say the reincarnation, the generation, um, the we call this thing again, um, the twelve tribes, and so on and so forth, right? And as I said, I said I'm a few of the lives as well. So if they get some understanding, so you could come into the live and, and hear the words um speaking unto him, right? And when you go into Luke chapter 15 and verse 10, it says Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High over one sinner that repent. So this is for you. Let this lift your spirit up. Let this lift your spirit up. And the fact that you are zealous for the Most High... And willing to seek the knowledge and is showing that fear for him, willing to cut off anything that is that is not of him. I'd say to Wala for that. Keep up the good work. Don't stop. Don't cease. Understand? Don't cease. Keep it up. Keep going. Because when you fear the father, right? When you fear Yahweh. Guess what you're going to be receiving? And I think I'm the wrong one. 1 year 11. Right. The fear, when, in, in proper understanding, this can be more clear. It says, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Understand? His praises endured forever. So guess what? When you fear the Father, you will want to know the do's and don'ts that he gave unto us to do. Because guess what? When you fear the Father, you love the Father. And you have faith. And you willing to be part of him. Then, and you keep, you keep, you keep the commandments you keep in his, his do's and don'ts. Remember, he wants us to be a peculiar church, a peculiar people, a holy nation, a holy people. We are not to operate in the manner of the heathens. We are not to operate in the manner of the Gentiles. And we talk about the Israel Gentiles. We're talking about the heathen Gentiles. You understand? So keep it up. Keep up the good work. Don't stop. Don't cease. Because just now you'll you'll be just like me. Just now, you'll be teaching and, and probably edifying somebody or helping them come in up open with your word, calling them into the truth as well, right? So, Proverbs chapter 20, 23 and 17, right? It says, 23 and 17, yes. Yeah. I think I probably have it wrong, eh? Right, let me it, it say it here. Let not thine heavy let not thy heart envy sinners, 
but thou in the fear of Yahweh, but thou in the fear of the Hawa all the day long. Thou, but be thou in the fear of Yahweh, Salakia, or in all the day long, right? And it says in LT, but always continue to fear Yahweh, continue to serve him, continue to please him. Don't listen to us, you know, heathens out there. And the reason why I, I, I use these two precepts that are aligned because I, some, this some other teacher as well. I want you to go into it. Um, right. So, let's go into it from the beginning part because. We understand this is how the scriptures really are to be followed because roughly paraphrasing it, um, Psalms, I believe, says it says with precept I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Right? So it says here, precept must be upon precept. Let me go let me go up. It says, Yeah, whom shall teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand them that are weaned? from the milk and drawn from the breast for precept must be upon precept precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little it says for the stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people it says again to whom he said this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest and this is the re refreshing Yet they would not hear. So, and it says here again, but the word of Yahweh was unto them precept upon precept, because that was the that was the um the order, the guidance given. That is why you see them march a precept to our next, dealing with the fear of, of the Father. Right? So all these things are taken into consideration. And I ain't, I ain't trying to cram too much knowledge in your head, but I believe I can close from here. Um, again. And I'm saying this, I'm saying this from the heart. I pray that Yahweh grow their faith. And I pray that, and, and y'all could do so too. Twelve y'all, pray that Yahweh continue to grow your faith in him because guess what you already fear him which means you already have faith you already have a, a, a strong amount of faith to be willing to seek that knowledge and do according to his will right so continue to pray that you have a great faith in you that you would stand sure in yahweh bahasham yahweh shai right when you go to ephesians chapter three I know I read something here. So I know for sure. I quote. Right. Um, straight to the point. It says, In whom we have boldness. Let me go up. It's according to the eternal purpose and which he purposed in Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord, our Savior, right? And our Lord, of course, our Prince. You understand? It says, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. You know what I'm saying? And when you're going to Hebrews, which you're going to close off here now, chapter 11 and 6, guess what it says? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that Yahweh uh, must believe in Yahweh and that Yahweh is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Because the definition of Yahweh is he is or he exists. That is why you would hear me say Yahweh, right? That's the definition. So let me continue. So I mean that is what it is. So I would I would pray I pray that Yahweh continue to grow y'all in this truth and uh, y'all don't cease y'all don't stop y'all don't go off and i will continue to try to be there to guide y'all there is my elders which is matasa and abanaya and there is their elders which is the, which is the 
true elders of, of uh, well, the, the much more refined OSC elders, which are from the GMS camp, right? And no, I'm not part of the GM, I'm not a member of the GMS camp, but I do follow under them, right? So that's just where it is. I think that is it there. Read, let me read um, Romans 5 and 2. Yes. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have ple we have peace with the with the most high through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? It says, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of the most high. So with that understanding, to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. So Kalhala Yahweh. Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Kakadash. Again, double honesty, the like minded brothers who speak, like double honesty, apostles and prophets and elders and members and the like minded brothers who speak the like minded truth. And this concludes your lesson. So before I say Shalom, Tawada for coming into this truth. And I hope this gives you a nice little guide. You know, I mightn't be. Um, fluent with my words might be a little rough i might be a little rough in my speech or how this how to put it um now we know i don't speak um i don't speak how to put it fluent at times majority of the times so you know but i hope the precepts that i brought out was able it was good enough to kind of Encourage you all more to continue to travel to interpret the scriptures and to continue with that zeal for the Father at the end of the day. All right. So with all the respect, I say to Wada Yahweh for bringing them, for calling them, and to Wada Yahweh for calling them into this group, which is GMS, because they could have ended up being bugged out with that, for that zeal. Right. So to Wada for for you calling them through the, the crack a dash. And I would say this. Shalom.